Hello and welcome to ShowMeAcademy.com. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to insert clip art in Microsoft Excel 2007. Now, clip art is a little different than traditional pictures or images that you might insert. Most all Microsoft programs come with a stash of clip art that's available for you, basically stock art that you can insert into a document or a spreadsheet that gives the document a little more presentation value. We'll show you how to do that here. First of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the Insert tab. When you open Excel, usually you start by default here on the Home tab. But we're going to go over to the Insert tab. And from the Insert tab, I'm going to look for the Illustrations section here. You'll see under Illustrations we have Picture, Smart Art, Shapes, and Clip Art. So as soon as I clip, uh, excuse me, click on Clip Art, what it does is it actually opens up a second window over here on the right that we can use to navigate through our clip art. Uh, when you start by default, this will start with drawing. I've actually taken drawing out of here because I want to see all the clip art that's available. And when I do that, it's going to show me a selection of different clip art that's available here to scroll through with this menu bar. So I can go through and see all these different options that are available for clip art that I can insert, into, can insert into the spreadsheet at any given time. So, for example, if I were to go back up to where I was, I can take this value here and I'm going to click on it. And as soon as I do that, notice that it takes this image that I clipped on and it puts it over here in the body of my Excel spreadsheet. Now, first of all, notice that it takes that value and basically sticks it on top of the spreadsheet itself. It basically floats on top. My data is still there, and if I want to clip, click on data that's behind it, if I were to click on the image itself, it selects the clip art. But if I want to get to that data that's in these cells behind it, I can click off here and then use my arrow keys to get back over to that data. So the data is not gone and it's still completely editable. It's just a little more obscure because we've covered it up with this clip art. But we can also manipulate the clip art image itself. For example, if I click back on here, it's going to select this piece of clip art. And notice when I scroll over it with the mouse that my cursor changes to these four arrows pointing in all four directions. What that means is that the piece of clip art is now available to be dragged to any other place on the spreadsheet. So with this cursor here, I'm going to left click on my mouse. I'm going to hold the left click button down and I'm going to drag it to a different place in the spreadsheet. Maybe right now I'll just put it in the center of my screen. And now it repositions that piece of clip art to a different position. From there, you'll also notice that we have some other options on the clip art itself. There is this outline around the clip art, and on eight different places around this outline, there are handles here that we can grab onto to resize this clip art. All the corners here will allow us to resize the clip art while maintaining the aspect ratio. In other words, it's going to be the same dimensions, it's just going to be bigger or smaller, but the aspect ratio will be the same. So I can take this, scroll over this, and push my left mouse button down and drag it smaller. And now it shrinks my clip art. Or I can do the converse, excuse me, and pull it out farther, and it makes my clip art larger. Now, if I don't want to maintain the same aspect ratio, I can grab any of these handles right here on the sides. That allows me to basically stretch or narrow my clip art according to one dimension. So I can grab, say, the right side. And notice my, my cursor changes there. And I can click and drag this over here, and it widens it out. I can click and drag it back this way, and it becomes much narrower. Or I can get it back to essentially the same size. I can also take this handle up here that allows me to rotate the image. Notice that when I scroll over or mouse over this green button at the top, my cursor changes to this little arrow, this little bent arrow. And if I click that and hold the left mouse button down, I can actually rotate my image around so that I can rotate it this way. Maybe I want it oriented the other way. 
etc. And that will allow me to change the orientation of the clip art image itself. That concludes this tutorial. Thank you for using showmeacademy.com.